One of the easiest places for us to get caught as busy entrepreneurs is in this position where our business is booming and we're doing well financially, but our body is going bust. Because what ends up happening is we constantly sacrifice ourselves for our business. It's like we know we need to take care of ourselves. We even have a desire to do so. But the catch is the demands of the business and the mindsets that we set for ourselves stop us from being able to show up and act in the way that we want that would actually help us stay healthy and, of course, get the body that we want. So burn the body fat to actually be fit, lean and strong and so on. Because we're stuck in these ideas where it's like, oh, well, once I'm earning this much money, then I can kind of buy back my time to work on myself. Or I need to make sure that my business is doing X, Y, Z before I can start focusing on me. And the catch with that, of course, is these goals that we set seem to continually move and we're never quite exactly where we want to be because there's always something else that comes up. It's like we're never quite important enough ourselves to actually say, oh, I've reached this point in business now. So now I can take some of that effort and energy away from the business and focus it on me. And of course, I get it. I'm the same. I'm a, a busy entrepreneur myself and obviously a father and, and a partner and so on. So I get the guilt that we can often get stuck with and, and how we often feel like I need to serve my business first because I've got to be making enough money to keep a roof over our heads. I need to obviously be able to protect my family financially, I've got to be able to provide for my partner and my daughter and buy them nice things and take them nice places and so on. And I understand how easy it is to get stuck in that place. But the catch is we have to remember is that ultimately we are the foundation of all of that. So if I build this financial stability on top of me and I'm unstable because my health is poor, my body's out of shape and overweight and aching and stiff and breaking down essentially, well, then all of the financial success is at risk because it falls on me. So if I'm not taking care of myself, then that means that ultimately at the root level, I'm not really taking care of my business either. So what we need to make sure we do is share where possible some of our resources that we're putting all into the business and into the money game and share some of that with ourselves <clears throat> so that we can obviously show up and be a better version of us. Now, I know that kind of that saying that be a better version kind of means different things to everybody. But what we need is to know that we are taken care of to a point where we can show up confidently and with full self-esteem, because that's only going to help us serve our business at an even greater level and ultimately create more impact and more income and therefore create more financial stability and abundance for ourselves and our family. But of course, if we're not serving ourselves, there also comes a point where we will often feel like, is this really worth it? Why am I sacrificing so much of myself? And essentially being a almost like a bit of a martyr, really, where, where we're sacrificing ourselves so much to all these other things outside of us that we often end up feeling resentful. Now, again, I get it. I've been there. I've done it myself, too. But we need to be careful because it's a, it's a very easy habit to get stuck in, particularly as a man, because we want to show up and protect and provide and preside for our families. It's kind of it's almost innately built in. We can argue, oh, it's, you know, society pushes these ideas on us. And yeah, sure, to a degree, maybe so, and tradition and, and all the rest of it. But at the same time, as a man, we are often built to fight relative to the female form, which is more, more built to nurture. So we're built to fight for what it is we want, whether that's security, financial abundance, and so on. So so this natural drive for us exists regardless of whether we're doing it or not. There's still a part of us that kind of feels like we should be, feels like we want to. And often if we're not doing that, we feel a bit unfulfilled or lacking or like we're not showing up in the ways that we should be. So we need to be able to take the time to sit with ourselves and go, OK, well, where am I at right now? What is it I'm doing that's not actually serving me? Often that is sacrificing ourselves to our business. And then we need to look at the business and say, OK, well, where can I take something away? Not to a point where it will actually have a negative impact on the business, but where can I allow myself some grace here so that I can show up for me and ultimately help myself become who it is I'm trying to get or who it is I'm trying to become? I want to be fitter. I want to be leaner, stronger. Therefore, meaning I want to get rid of this excess body fat, the excess body weight. I want to have more confidence, more certainty in myself. 
I want to actually have a body I'm proud of and that looks, moves and feels well. But the only way I can do that is if I allow myself to take some time, take some energy and then focus it on me so that I can then take that greater version of me that is fitter, leaner, stronger, has more confidence, has more energy. And then that version of me can show up better, not only in my business, but also in my relationships with my partner, with my children and so on. So that's what I want you guys to, to think about over the next day or so. It's like sit with yourselves and go, okay, where can I actually take back something for myself, give to me so that I can show up as a better version of me, not only in my business, but also in my relationships with my partner and my children, and ultimately be the man and the role model that I'm trying to be, show up and be the leader I'm supposed to be in my family and within the household and within my business. But the only way we can do that is when we are operating at our highest potential. That's all I've got for you guys tonight. Any questions, drop them in the comments. And of course, sorry for my crazy croaky voice that's been going on. Um, got a bit of a sore throat. That <laughs> Sitting here now, I realize how bad it is. It's actually far worse than it was a couple of hours ago before I planned to go live. But anyway, we're here. We've got to show up. We've got to do the work, but not at the sacrifice of ourselves. Luckily, it's just a quick video, so it isn't too detrimental. And I've still also worked on my body today. So any questions, drop them in the comments below. And if not, I look forward to chatting with you guys in my next video. Take it easy.